Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the sixth ever Bro Jack cast with your favorite Bro Jack, me. We got a couple of noobs here, a couple of bronzies. I mean, you can probably already tell by the way they're building their buildings. Uh, but basically, let's take a look. We've got Saj Lum. All right. So first of all, like I always talk about IDs in the beginning of the cast because nothing's going on. So get used to it. Deal with it. All right, noob. Okay. Saul Jim. It, the problem there is called vowels. You've got to have them sometimes. And anywhere between over here, some vowels would be nice. So I could pronounce this at a reasonable rate. Might end up just calling this man or woman, child, whatever, Red Protoss instead of Sal Jim because of the because of the vowel lack and let's take a look over here we got uh t cast but and yet like let's take a look at this emblem over here that's a cat so maybe it was t cats and it was just got spelt wrong and uh then over here we got the torch talkie the talkie the torch key see i want to say torch right because that would make sense but no there's a there's a k there instead of an h again look at look at all these consonants please Please do everyone a favor and put more, more vowels in your name. Like, you know, not too many vowels because then, you know, then it becomes French, which, you know, obviously that's not going to work out for pronunciation for people like me. Uh, you know, trying to speak anything in French is going to be absolute disaster. You don't want to see that happen, monsieur. Uh, you know what I'm saying. But basically we've got a lot of grammatical issues going on, and that is very clearly going to be translating over into gameplay issues in the game. As you all know, that, that's exactly how all problems start, right? They start with the grammar and the spelling and the lack of vowels, and then it all comes out of whack, and you're not even building pylons on 16 like you should be. You know, maybe you're building them super early when you don't even need them yet. What's going on? What, what was this even, a 15 pylon? Do you even know what 15 pylon means? It means you're a noob. Like, look at this cybernetics core. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, okay. I don't even need to look at that even a second longer to know that that's a bronze player building a cybernetics core. All right, let's take a look. What are these? What are these? Uh, what are these two bronzes going to be doing here? Get an orbital command. You know, it's a good first step. There's a lot of bronze players out there who don't actually get an orbital command like you should. If you're a bronze player out there and you want to not suck, you should definitely get the orbital command after the barracks. So That's some free advice for me, Bro Jack. For me to you, free advice. Also, we got some barracks going down. Great. Barracks. Probably going to build some units. You know, normal game. Maybe I might say, hey, he's building barracks now, so he's investing in his army. But if you actually think about it, this is a bronze game, so this is probably not any sort of aggression at all. This is probably just making sure that he can properly poop his pants later on in the game and just be scared and never look outside his base. Let's see how long that lasts. That's one of my funnest things to do. Yep, nothing out of the base yet. And then over to the talkie, uh, no, nothing. They're living in a world of darkness. And that's a very sad, scary place to be. But, you know, they're there on their own accord. So what are you going to do about it, right? All right. So now what we're going to do is, uh, you know, this is uh, compensating. You know, you know when, when, when they make jokes in the movies, oh, I think he's compensating for something. This is what Sal Jim is doing right now. He's compensating for his lack of macro by building a ton of gateways so that way he can just be like oh man i gotta spend my money on something and to vomit out stalkers somewhere near a pylon probably um i mean i don't know where else you're gonna vomit out stalkers uh especially because you're getting the warp gate but yeah so not really too much expansion whoop oh oh wow check this out whoa check it out now this is the pro strats you ready okay Here's the build. For those of you in review who aren't paying attention, what you do is you get a gateway, and then you get a Cyberman X core, and then you get five gateways, and then you get a Nexus. That way, you have a bunch of gateways and not enough money to build units, so that's cool. And you have an expansion, which, you know, I see pros get expansions all the time. Don't question it. It's a good idea. Just do what everyone else does. On, on the pro scene and you'll be good. Don't know why they do it. Just do it, you know? It's about Nike. Bronze League is about being like Nike. Just go ahead and do it. And and you hear, you know, you see here rather, the, the, the quintessential new problem, which I like to call pooping in your pants. This talkie over here 
is is straight up pooping in his pants. He's like, you know what? I lost one game to someone who attacked me. So from now on, I'm just going to sit in my base and build as many units as I possibly can, which bad macro is not very much. But anyway, I'm just going to sit here and just, like, stare at my base. Let's take a look. All right. We're just kind of sitting here. By the way, this is not me. This is the talkie view. We're kind of looking, thinking, all right, we got units. We got a 1,000 minerals in the bank. What are we going to do next? It's a tough one. It's a tough decision. Tough decision to make. Nope. No decisions. Let's check out the APM. Wow, wait a minute. Hold on a sec. Hold the phone, ladies and gents. I think we have... I think we've got some straight-up AFK happening right here. Um, I can... You know, I've seen... Listen, listen. I've seen a couple of noobs in my day, all right? And I know that noobs are bad and they got low APM, but zero APM is kind of low, even for a noob. Uh, and I think that this person either collapsed on their keyboard in a way that would not, you know, execute any actions, or they fell asleep, or, you know, the, their mom said it's time for dinner and they have to go right away, and they're hoping, hey, I'll just finish my dinner really quick. And then I'll get right back to the game, no problem. Sorry, bro, this is StarCraft. Uh, fortunately for him, uh, Sal Jun is also just kind of pooping his pants here. He's like, oh, sentries, you guys uh, immediately, please poop your pants. Followed by the stalkers, also do that, and some zealots to do that as well. You know, excellent, excellent. The one thing, though, ooh, nice, double forge. Whoa. The one thing that's really nice, though, check this out. It's an observer. That's right. He actually is seeing his opponent for the very first time. Nine minutes and 45 seconds in the game. And let's see if he picks up on it. He's just sort of looking around here. Sees a bunch of units. Sees some supply depots happening. A lot of energy on the orbital command. And he's going to leave. He's just going to leave. That was, that was the whole deal. All right. Let's check out the pro reaction. Actually, let's go ahead and get in, get in Sal Jim view. He's going to react by taking some gas. You know what? That's what you got to do. That's a good reaction. You get a good read. You go into the base and you see that your opponent is AFK. Get some gas because why not, right? What are they going to do about it? Even got a warp prism. Going to do a sentry drop to make sure he gets blocked off from his natural expansion. Um, or something like that. No, actually. Oh, he's just going to send the Observer back out again. Okay. Round two. He was too afraid to just stay all the way over there across the map. So instead, he's he's making long trips. This is actually the old way Observers had to do it back in the day, even before Brood War. The Observer would go out and you would say, oh, go scout out. And then it would come back and it would give you a handwritten letter that said, okay, these are all the things in the base. Please review this and sign off so I can get paid and get my health benefits. Thank you, Observer. Really appreciate it. So he's just kind of like doing his rounds, going back and forth, relaying the information to the uh, to the executor. And, uh, yeah. So, I got to say, all right, I've been leaving this APM tab up for quite some time. And it's, it's kind of sad when if your opponent's been gone for the past five minutes and you're only, only 20 supply ahead. Uh, you may want to build... Oh, wow, check it out. Somebody got supply blocked. Oh, we've all been there. Don't deny... You're not Flash. You don't... You miss supply. And you miss supply sometimes, you get pissed off about it. This Sal Jim just got pissed. He was like, forget this. I'm never getting supply blocked again. I'm building 18 pylons, and then I'm done. That's what he said right there. I mean, in his own head, of course. Uh, fortunately, though, uh, he's managed to take advantage of his AFK opponent by um, by building a nexus. And here's, here's my issue with the whole thing. Um, what the hell is going? What the hell is going on, man? You know that nothing's happening. But you're not taking a look. At the, there's nothing. There's idle. Oh, man, forget about it. This guy's just, you know what? We're going to speed up the replay. We're going to, this is something I do in extreme situations because I don't know how much longer this is going to last. 
I, I got to be honest. I really don't. All right, guys, I'm a liar. I totally looked at the replay. This is a long one. <laughs> so we're just going to speed it up. All right, you got me. You got All right, you got me. All right, very, you're very perceptive. I'm a bad liar. I get that. I get that. Okay. So, oh, wow. And he's like, oh, he's going to direct. Are you here? Interesting. Interesting. I like the director pro. Are you here? No response. Exactly what someone who is pretending to be AFK would do. What are you going to do now? All right. All right. APM is still zero. Average APM at 10 this game for Torki. So Torki maybe will pull out a miraculous comeback. Because you never know. In the land of the noobs, anything is possible. I mean, he's only got... You know, a thousand or so less unspent gas than his opponent who's AFK. Think about that for a second. Just wrap your brain around it. Wrap your mind around it too while you're at it, you know? Um, and, and I mean, this is what, it, you know, what prism? You got this mobile warping in thing. What do you do with it? It's like, you know what? I'm going to put it right up here in front of my base where it's really too scary for me to build a pylon because I want to be able to get out of there if I can. And, um, you know... Oh, wow. Wait a minute. Wait. Slow it down. Slow it down. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Get ready for the miraculous comeback. Oh, you guys. You guys. I I, I got to say, I, I may have watched this earlier. The comeback is real. Get ready for this to happen. This army is about to take out this army, and it's absolutely beautiful. You you don't even see it coming. You don't. You think this army, it can't kill it. Get ready for the best micro you've ever seen in your life. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. He's just gonna poop his pants. He just changes. He's like, he was pooping his pants over here, and then he's like, oh, I'm gonna move across the map so I can poop my pants over here. You know, get some overloads over here and stop pooping out the creep because I'm just sitting here pooping my pants, being afraid of an AFK opponent with no army. I mean, how more afraid can you get, really? Um, all right, you know what? We're gonna time. I gotta be. I gotta be straightforward with you guys. We're going to time save it the rest of the way. I'm not even going to slow down for the battle. I'm not. This is excruciating. Even for me. Look at this. Zealots are going to come in. They're going to clean everything up. They're going to start attacking stuff. Oh my, he's too scared to send even his army in. Look at this. He's like, oh, Zealots, you go check it out and rip to shreds this person who's AFK. Um, well, maybe, oh, I don't know. We'll do some Colossus micro and kill stuff. And then he doesn't have any forces. And then he was victorious. And that's the end of the game. Yeah. This has been Brojack. Welcome to the most entertaining cast you've ever seen in your life. The best games, the best bronzies, the best Brojack of all time. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for hanging out. And uh, this has been me. Uh, go, go lift some more weights. Go do some more APMs. And I'll see you later. <laughs>